Crossroads Media. A gorgeous win in Fenway Park. The same day you hear the awful news that JT Real Muto is going to miss one month with right knee surgery, and that's if everything goes well. As we hear with the Trey Turner stuff, when they were ready to fly out to Colorado, there was a mini setback. He was supposed to be running the bases. They took sort of a softer approach with it all. So my point is you never know what's going to happen with this one month that does seem a little bit too short of a time period to get surgery in your right knee so we'll see what happens but when I look at this team I'm not telling you it's not a big deal for the fall it's not a big deal for October yes you need JT if you want to reach your prime and go all the way to the promised land but do you have enough to survive until he gets gets back into action? The answer is absolutely yes. And that's why the question of the Bleacher Report stream here is, how concerned are you about JT surgery? Your two options, very nervous or this team is good enough to overcome. And for me, it's obviously the latter. All right. And it's a big deal. I mean, this news dropped today right around first pitch, maybe a few hours before. No, actually, I think it was about 145 or so. So I take that back. It was a hell of a day for me. So I'm getting my hours mixed up. But regardless, it was some big news today for Phillies land. It was after you get back from London, after blowing a save. And speaking of blowing saves, I was informed that Jose Alvarado had no idea how to pitch, yet he shuts it down. Match Rob with a beautiful eighth. Okay, Zach Wheeler with seven strong. After a shaky start, swore bomb first pitch. Fills are up one nothing. Swore bomb making a statement. Not only is it June, not only is it time for him to flip the damn calendar, but we're also sitting in a position to make a statement as a leader and as one of the top men in that clubhouse that JT not being here for a little bit of time, it's okay because we have enough firepower and I will take that step to start hitting bombs and hitting home runs. I will do my job. Follow me. All right, that's what it's all about. So the fact that you go up early with a missile, an absolute missile off his bat, and with a blink of an eye, the game's tied up because they got to Zach Wheeler. Very unfortunate, but then he settles in beautifully. He only had 88 pitches or so, so he was very efficient. And I was also informed that Garrett Stubbs didn't know how to call a game for Zach Wheeler. Let me tell you something. If the difference in Zach Wheeler being able to be a sensational weapon is JT Real Muto or Garrett Garrett Stubbs behind the plate, then Zach Wheeler isn't what we thought he was. All right. Now, maybe just to show you the importance of calling a game, if JT could be the difference in Wheeler going seven or seven and two thirds, okay, maybe. Maybe, but it's not the difference in Zach Wheeler being able to go seven or four innings and getting rocked for five earned runs. Garrett Stubbs' job and Marshawn's job right now is to not hurt the team. That's what it is, right? They don't have to be superstars. They don't have to be absolute game changers. They need to be fine. They're backup catchers. And they're going to be playing more of a role right now. So normally when backup catchers are forced to snag more time, it's not lovely. But the job is right now, don't hurt the team. And as long as you get what you're supposed to get from Bryce, from Kyle, and Trey Turner will be back soon, by the way. That is who can slot back into that two hole in between, sandwiched in between Kyle and Bryce Harper. It will hurt, though, when you're sitting with the Rojas hitting nine, Stubbs hitting eight, you know, you're seven, eight, nine. It's probably going to get ugly at times. It's not going to be perfect. Okay, but it's 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 more about do you have enough 
to continue to win regular season baseball games until JT gets back? And the answer for me is yes. And this is also a big reason why I love the fact that they got out to such a massive lead with this division and they were winning games early because if they were in the same predicament that they've been in in years past, now granted the Atlanta Braves aren't necessarily beating up teams left and right. So maybe if the Phillies did struggle out of the gate, they would be in closer reach, but that's not what I'm talking about here. Just normally we have been accustomed to the Braves being scorching hot and now you have to play catch up. And if you're playing catch up without one of your big bats, it makes it that much harder for you to roll through these towns and win all these series on the road. And, you know, when you're constantly playing from behind and you're crawling your way and trying to get closer to the top of the division, it's hard. Now that, one, you got the confidence. Two, you got the swag. Three, you got Kyle Schwarber in June now. <laughs> that's that's pretty important. The middle of June took him a while. And I honestly thought he could have had three bombs tonight. Swear to God. You know, in that one at bat, he fouled one off. I'm like, damn, dude. And I think Kyle knew it, too. You saw his facial expression. This is something that I could drive. This is something that I could put into the stands, especially in Fenway. I don't know. There's something for me watching Kyle Schwarber do it in that ballpark. Maybe it's because what he once did in that ballpark, and it, st- it, it stayed with me for some I don't know. I don't know. But a Schwarber bomb in that ballpark hits different. And the fact that we got two in a night, could have had three, and the first one happened on the first pitch. That's leadership, and that's what this team is going to be about without the backbone. And yeah, that's right. It wasn't too long ago that Nick Castellanos, I believe it was Nick, called JT Real Muto the backbone of this team. So if you are ripping the backbone out of a squad, what do you do if that's the case? You go win 4-1. Your ace takes the mound and goes seven, allowing one earned run. Throws 88 in that filthy, disgusting, 86-mile-per-hour backdoor slider to a left-handed hitter after throwing 95 cheese, 95 fastball. This thing was sitting pretty on the outside part of the play. Ew, just disgusting stuff and disgusting stuff out of Matt Strom, too. Is he serious? First, he works a full count, and you wonder, all right, not in the eighth. Was it time to pull Zach? Did you have to pull Zach? You're going to the bottom of the lineup for the Boston Red Sox. Was it smart? Here's a full count. Let's not put the first base runner on. Please, gets a K, and then, you know, just another K, and then, you know, just another K. Matt Strom throwing gas and putting a fastball. Nothing that creative to, hey, here it is. Show me you could do something against it. I mean, really, I mean, this is what I got. Do something with it. (laughs) I just don't know if I necessarily believe the timeline. It's probably a little bit longer than what they're anticipating, or at least what they're saying. I'm wondering if the one month is when we see some version of baseball activity again, more so than baseball again, if that makes sense. But the question becomes, if I'm going to look at the timeline of, can we still go win a championship? Does anything change in my expectation of a title? And the answer is absolutely not. So it might be a different roller coaster ride to get to the postseason over this 162, but it might not. Like, it might not. This team is damn good. And so far this year, we're playing with fire. Don't get me wrong. And it would be naive to think every time someone goes down, somebody else will step up. But to this point, the DNA of this team is when Trey Turner goes down, Sosa comes in and pops a 300. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's been as if, you know, someone goes down in left field. Here's David Jahl, who's been hitting some home runs, a double off the wall. Like, you know, so far, every time someone's been able to do something, and it doesn't necessarily need to be Stubbs or Marshawn that elevate themselves to some crazy tier because I don't expect that to be the case. I just need them to be fine. <laughs> 